Hi everyone, so today I thought I would share my progress on designing the new boiler for the house. So, uh, this is what I've come up with so far. Uh, obviously not a finished design, but it will be made out of 5mm thick steel. And inside it will be lined with those vermiculite blocks you can get for wood burning stoves, which you can then just cut to size. So, the way it's going to work is... Well, I'm not, I'm not totally sure, I'm kind of asking for advice here is should there be a grating in the bottom? Um, I've seen that a lot of wood stoves don't um, where the bottom would just be lined with that sort of vermiculite board uh, the whole firebox is and there's holes in the top here I'm going to have holes in the top there where air can be drawn in to the top of the fire which then burns uh, unburnt hydrocarbons and stuff like that and results in a cleaner burn meaning that the chimney doesn't get clogged up as fast. Um, because the problem that I had with the old boiler that I had out in the garden, well, it had no fire bricks in it, um, and it wasn't burning the fuel properly because uh, much of the heat was coming out through the walls of the boiler because there was no fire brick insulating it. I had no air coming in over the top of the fire to burn off extra like waste hydrocarbons and stuff so it wasn't burning the fuel cleanly and that was probably one of the reasons that caused a, a problem for my next door neighbour so this new design should hopefully burn the fuel completely and obviously this is going to be inside the house with a proper flue liner and everything and and so the smoke will be coming out at above roof level so it shouldn't bother anyone that's if there's even going to be any smoke because this could burn the fuel very cleanly um, so as for air flow, there's going to need to be air coming in and blowing against uh, the front glass. So there's going to be doors on this. Uh, so this door, there will be a glass door. This is where like, you can put the logs in or whatever. And I might have just a pipe inside it with holes cut in it, which, which is just uh, rooted to the outside air feed. Uh, because underneath this boiler, I've actually got well in the fireplace there's a vent which goes to the outside of the house so it will draw the air up from outside so it doesn't create a gr um, draft so that's just a 3D model of the original heat exchanger out the back boiler I'm going to reuse that in here and obviously I'm going to pack it out in here probably with just fire bricks just around the heat exchanger so that the hot gases are getting directed uh, through the heat exchanger as much as possible um, if we go back, if you look here, I also have, I also have uh, something just uh, coming out to the front there, uh, sort of like just a kind of like a flat panel, so that air, so like the hot gases aren't just going to go up past the front of the heat exchanger. Um, it's going, I'm going to have it designed so that it's going to go th up and through the bottom of the heat exchanger. So by the time the Hot gases are up here, hopefully as much of the hydrocarbons as possible and other th other things have been burnt off so uh, there won't be that much smoke and stuff like that. Uh, and as for ash management, well I'm, I'm not sure there. Um, I, I don't know if I'll have air coming up through the bottom of the fire or not. Um, I think maybe sometimes it's advantageous for getting the fire started so I'm not sure whether to include that feature yet. Um, I probably should because I might burn other things like uh, multi-fuel logs or whatever that compacted stuff you get so it's good to keep the options open I suppose um, and yeah it'll just be 5mm thick steel and I'll just weld it together obviously there'll be a top one there and the flue will go up through that and there's plenty of space in here to get a brush up there so that the chimney can be swept. 